Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. To this video, I wanna show you a back to school, everyday natural look, made it only with affordable product, but also a back to school, everyday look for beginner. If you're new here, my name is Maria Pia. Welcome to my channel, let's start. Now, how to back to school, everyday natural look. What I'm going to show you is an affordable, easy, quick, back to school makeup look for beginners, step by step. I remember when I went to school, I used to wake up at 6.30 and my face was so white. I was so tired and dark silk was so pronounced. Today I'm still 10, but I will show you every makeup step I believe I would done if I have to come back to school again. Therefore, if I have to create a back to school everyday natural look. First problem to fix is tiredness and of course my best friend since I was young, dark circle, but first problem is uh, tartness. So I'm going to hydrate my skin with some moisturizer. Heal my neck. Second step is apply foundation to even out my skin, just few drops. And then blend it out with my finger. With a beauty blender, I'm going to tap the foundation on the edges just a bit to remove the extra product and better blend foundation forehead, nose and chin, I'm a human being again now. Second step, so second problem to fix is dark circle. I would never skip this step, but not everyone has dark circle. If you don't tell, I truly suggest to skip this step. This is because sometimes, and for some people, foundation is enough. Also, some day dark circle are really evident, are really visible, but in other day, dark circle are more so pronounced. In uh, that day, you don't need to use a specific concealer for dark circle. My favorite makeup product for dark circle was, and still is, an orange creamy concealer like this one. But today I look like my dark circle wanna give me a rest, so thank you. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to use just a normal concealer, lighter than my foundation, to bright the area under my eyes. I'm going to blend it with my finger. Some concealer on my lid. And one trick was to apply a very small drop of concealer on this corner because sometimes on this corner I get red. And I blend up. Third step is a setting powder. I'm going to apply a bit of setting powder just on the forehead, nose, chin and a bit also on my lid because I have hooded eyes so to have concealer in my crease is a must so I want to prevent that. Fourth step is a blush. I'm going to apply a peachy pink blush. This one is really cute. I don't know why but it reminds me summer. Still summer so the nice season. Smile. I start with less product as possible because I don't want a cheekbone to red to pink too. If I add too much, I'm going to clear. Other problem I got my eyebrow because they usually fell off. Yeah, I don't really like when they do that. <laughs> So I'm going to brush my eyebrow and if I don't have much time I apply just a gel mascara on the end of my eyebrow. If I have more time I like to apply from this palette light color at the beginning of my eyebrow and the dark color at the end so on the tail and trying to mix the two colors in the middle and go brush. Light color here, 
and then dark color and I fill the tail of my eyebrow. Trying to mix the two colors, the light one and the dark one here. And then with the gel mascara, I'm going to apply just a bit at the end of my eyebrow because usually this hair that pull off. Eye makeup. Honestly, I've never used a shadow on my eyelid when I went to school because at school I was so shy and to wear much makeup made me feel uncomfortable. And also because I didn't want that my parents and my teacher look at me and thought I was too flashy. But for people that would like to wear some eyeshadow, I would suggest this idea. Blending brush from this palette. I'm going to apply the brown eyeshadow above my crease because I have dead eyes with circular movement. Top off, circular movement from here. I'm trying to create a new crease above my crease. I suggest to hold the brush from the end of the brush. In this way you, you don't have to apply too much shadow on your lid. Because my target is to create an everyday makeup look. So something pretty natural. With the same brush, without add more product, I'm going to push the eyeshadow toward the inner corner. but also I push up. Finger, I clean the hair in this way. If some eyeshadow fell off here, we can clear with the, our finger or maybe, again, we apply just a bit of um, concealer because if you can see here, my corner get red and a bit dry so just a bit and then finger blend it up from the same palette little finger i apply the eyeliner in the inner corner Also under the tail of my eyebrow, just a bit. About lashes, if you want you can curl your lashes, but I never done at school. Probably I've never done in my entire life because uh, my lashes are already curl enough for me. <laughs> and um, about mascara, I choose a daily mascara, clumps free, smudge look, something that um, I know it separates my lashes pretty well. This is because for a back to school makeup everyday look, I want something that is really natural, nothing that is clumsy. If you don't want to get dirty, try to keep your head on the back. Last step regard my lips. I'm going to apply this lipstick, this color, that has similar color of the blush. And uh, summer again. No. <laughs> anyway, I don't apply the lipstick straight away on my lips, but I just tap the lipstick on my finger and then I tap on my lips because I want less product as possible. So I do it this way. Just a light thing. And then I'm going to tap the tissue on the lipstick to remove the extra product. This is because I'm going to wear a mask, so I don't want the lipstick move from my lip to the mask tissue. Now I want to wear the mask and see how I look with mask. Hope you like this makeup tutorial. I hope I give you some interesting makeup idea for a back to school everyday natural look. 
If you like to watch makeup tutorial, if you like to see how makeup products work on the skin, consider to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. I give you my big good luck for the new school year and see you in the next video. Bye!